Hi, and welcome to the Founder Conversation Series under the Spices of the First Wings Connect program by IDFC First Bank. Today we have with us Saurabh Srivastava, who is the founder of Actuals AI. Now, Actuals AI has a very interesting tagline that says, making AI relevant for your business. Before we move forward, let us get to know Saurabh a little bit better. Saurabh is the co-founder and CEO of Actuals AI. He is an IIT Delhi graduate with a decade of startup experience. He was an early team member at Blinkit and later spent five plus years at Aether Energy, driving system, strategy, and fundraising, and was subsequently headhunted by Hero Motor Corp to lead organization-wide data projects. Saurabh, welcome to the conversation series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me in this, uh, in this program. Most welcome. Saurabh, our viewers would be keen to hear from you as to how you would describe Actuals AI. Yeah. So um, Actuals AI is, uh, is, is it's beyond the analytics, it's beyond BI. It's, so it's a, it's a unified pl data platform where it has the ETL layer, which brings data from different sources. It actually helps user to run prompts, do the query from the system, and it also gives you the BI layer on top of it. Now, in addition to it, what is like what is what makes actual CI a very unique proposition is that is the semantic layer, which actually understands your data and it and and set the context around the AI, so that a user when asked a pro, a prompt, it actually gives you expected and the right outcome. So this is actual AI, which actually focuses on focusing on building a semantic layer on top of the AI, which actually set up a sharper and deeper context of the language model we use. Quite interesting. I'm sure there must have been some gaps or some pain points that caught your attention before embarking on this endeavor that you have decided to address. Would you like to talk about those? Yeah. So I work with like a couple of industries, um, uh, uh, e-commerce and, and manufacturing. And in both the industries, I've seen how a data team struggles uh, with, the, with the many different uh, non-tech teams, you know, sales, marketing, ops team to, to address their needs, to, 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 uh, to share, uh, to help them in reporting, dashboard, charts, graph, etc. So this, this creates a bottleneck when there's so much, you know, to and fro which is happening. And the to and fro also happens because the story building event doesn't come out what how it is required by the non by the ops team or the business team and the, the data team which is actually building the story story building right so when it doesn't match up this happens like to a lot of to and fro so it eventually increases your turnaround time you know in days and you know and and not in hours or minutes when it is actually required so th these are the gaps which i've seen and this is what we are actually trying to solve the third gap, which we have seen in the later part, which we are actually where the plugging the normal language model will not help you to get to the final result. So hence the semantic layer again. That's great. Sort of for the benefit of our viewers, how would you describe the value proposition and differentiation of actual AI? Yeah. So the value proposition we have is we are enabling this for the non-tech users as well. And so non-tech users, when someone who doesn't know writing code, right, they can also do a deep dive in into the data without having to without having a dependency on the data team. One is that. Second, it also added value proposition where it cuts down the time for the data team itself, where uh where, where, they, where they actually don't have to write code from the scratch. So if it is given to data team, they can also write using the, they can also use the prompts and start with, uh, you know, with almost 70, 80% job done. And hence it's cutting down time for them to build stories for, 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 for the non-tech teams. That's truly informative for sure. As you know, investors love businesses that have a defensible moat. What kind of mode do you think actual AI has? Yeah, defensible mode is is our semantic layer, which we're actually very much focusing on. Now, what happens if you directly plug and play, which I've already repeated in my previous, uh, in this session, right? Uh, what happens when you directly plug and play the language model? The language model has been trained on a wide web data. It doesn't have a sharper context of your organization data, of your business data, right? So semantic layer actually helps bring bridge that gap where it actually where it 
trains the existing language model on your uh, on your on your on the, on the organization data by having a pre-trained you know knowledge base uh, from from the similar tools or from the similar industries right it helps the context so that now the language model which was trained on the wider now it it has a sharper context and deeper context of your so the so this is this is what it actually makes us different where we are actually focus we are actually doing the focus analytics and not like the wider analytics tools like uh, power bi and tableau and you know looker etc I see. That's wonderful. Actual CI is clearly a business with awesome potential upsides. What kind of upsides do you envisage are likely to catch the attention of potential investors, and over what time frame and milestones? Yeah. Uh, the one thing which ha which has caught like investor eye is when we started this uh, this uh, like you know many months back. I mean eight nine months back when we started, we were we were targeting small and medium businesses because I realize. uh why to wait for the mess to happens later on and and reach out to these small and medium businesses so that we can actually prevent this mess to happen later in their in in their in, in their you know company life cycle but what we realized and i mean the small businesses are very much busy in the uh, in the daily firefighting right like on the and they are happy with the excel and you know having a very basic data analyst in the company the attention which we which got investor is when we got attention from the larger enterprise you know though we are actually in discussion with companies like uh, agio uh, unilever like uh, echo policy bazaar flipkart so they are actually taking interest because they they because they 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 find they find the proposition in doing the focus analytics and not a general analytics right so this is one second second what can what we have actually tried to achieve will be a technical milestone where the cementing layer will not only get trained on the data behavior or the metadata what we call it can also identify the gaps within the data itself without passing the data to 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 the language models so this is this is some technical milestone where if achieved we it can like the strategic investor will will it will amaze them in strategic investors like snowflake ventures data brick ventures etc amazing insights before concluding uh, would you like to share your first impressions about the first things connect program yeah so uh, i mean the first impression is like very promptive and uh, like the team uh, including muskan vidika and sachin ji like especially uh i mean this is actually helping us in in in, in having a prep for the investor you know fundraise and helping us to 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 what how should we uh frame our answers how how much should we add numbers to it whereas i mean for the first time founders it's it's difficult for it's difficult for to like 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 uh, frame it in in a way where investor would like to hear so this that's where that's why uh, this first funds first swings connect program by idfc first bank has been amazing so far for, for us like has been amazing in doing the prep for the for, for the fund design and, and and that has come at the right time also we are actually doing having the ongoing fund days with with the many investors uh, line up yeah awesome thanks a lot saurav for taking the time out for this crisp and meaningful conversation today and best wishes for your journey ahead thank you Thank you thank you so much thank you so much Vidika for having me for this program thank you so much